Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the FA18C and we're looking at the HUD, symbology and mode. We will not be covering navigation, radar or weapons specific symbology. We'll leave that to the navigation, radar or weapons video. So first of all, explain the mode. We've got basic nav and we know we're in nav if air to air there is not selected and air to ground is not selected. If we want air to ground, we can click on there. If we want air to air, we can click on there. Click it again. And we're back to nav, which is where we'll start. This is our altimeter here. It is in feet, calibrated with the current air pressure setting. It's currently barometric. It can be chosen as radar, and we'll have a look at that option in a bit. Above that is our VSI, our vertical speed indicator. Currently saying we're diving at 1,990 feet per minute. Here is our heading tape, and that is magnetic degrees. So we're currently at about 303.5 degrees magnetic next is our pitch indicator or pitch ladder that there is the horizon these down ticks show that that is downwards here is five degrees positive with the down tick heading towards the horizon as ever and five degrees up here is the five degrees negative five degrees dive with the upstand heading up to the horizon notes that in almost all planes the negative angle will be dotted and the positive angle will be solid minus 10 degrees plus 10 degrees and so on next is our speedo this is knots cas calibrated airspeed this is our angle of attack our current angle of attack is 5.1 degrees this is our current mac of 0.35 this is our current g of 1.0 this is our historical peak g for the flight which peaked at 5.0 plus g at some point this is our mission time. This is our velocity vector, otherwise known as path marker. This is where the actual aircraft is flying. But although the aircraft may be pointing more like in that direction, we are flying towards that direction. This here is our roll indicator. If this carrot here is placed perfectly on the center here, we're at zero degrees roll. That would be 10 degrees roll, 20 degrees roll, 30 degrees roll, and 10, 20, 30 that way interestingly here we've got mig 29 markers these are actually from our rwr we can choose whether we want to display rwr threat symbology on the hud and here we've got it turned on we're in nav mode here which means that our velocity vector here and our pitch indicator is uncaged as standard which means it's not fixed to the hard per se in terms of left or right azimuth that means if there was a big crosswind it can actually be blown quote unquote off the side of the hud if you are having that problem, you can actually cage these instruments back to the center line of the HUD by pressing the cage uncage button. In air to air, that is automatically caged, and in air to ground, that is automatically uncaged. So it's just something to bear in mind when dealing with winds. Next, let's go to air to air. Ping. We've removed a couple of bits. We haven't got the VSI here anymore. We've now got this telling us uh, that we have a 9M, uh, an AIM-9 selected, and we've got zero of them actually to use. This circle here would be showing the seeker position of the currently selected 9M if we actually had any. We do not have a cross through this icon, which means our master arm is on. And if we did have the missiles, we could fire them. Again, remember that the symbology will be caged to the HUD in this air to air mode. Next, we've got air to ground, ping, and it's pretty much the same as air to air, except we have uncaged units here and we've got no weapon information and we have no weapons on board the plane. Next, we're gonna have a look at the ways to manipulate the HUD. So this here is the HUD control panel. This first switch is reject switch. We can have the HUD in normal, reject one, or reject two. So normal is normal. Reject one has some of the symbology removed, as you can see, like that. And reject two removes even more of the symbology in case you needed to concentrate on something to declutter the screen. Next is HUD symbology brightness control and that does exactly what it says on the tin as you can see. Next is whether you want it on day or night mode and that just calibrates the brightness of the symbology. So that would be night, that would be day. Next is the angle of attack index of brightness. We haven't actually looked at that, but we will come back to that. Next is the altimeter, whether we want it in barometric or standard or radar. It's now in radar, we can see because it's a different number and it's got an R there. The radar altimeter will only work up to 5,000 feet AGL. At that point, it will be overridden by the barometric. 
and it will say a B there in that case. That's all I want to show on that panel there. The next thing we're going to do is actually put our gear down if we can and see that we will get extra symbology appear. So first of all we've got our witch's hat here. This is our ball site otherwise known as our longitudinal axis or our datum line. This is where the actual aircraft is pointing. The difference between that and that is 5.1 degrees which is our angle of attack as shown there. This here is our angle of attack error bracket when we're landing this aircraft and this will only be showing when we're landing config ie we've got our gear out the aircraft directs us to an angle of attack and on the speed angle of attack of between 7.4 to 8.8 .8 degrees so as long as our velocity vector here is within this error bracket here we are flying between those stipulated angles of attack note also that the horizon line has changed and finally we have our angle of attack indexer which essentially duplicates the function of the angle of attack error bracket so as you can see with this overlay we're currently going fast so our angle of attack is too low our airspeed is too high and you can see the different variations the idea is to get on speed just to have the yellow circle on the middle which means we are at the directed threshold of angle of attack and you can see if the green signs at the top then we're too slow and our angle of attack is too high that's all i've got to say on the hud i hope that was useful see you later